In Destiny's lore, we know of a character named Seer Ido, who was the first Queen's Wrath and really close to Mara Sov. We also have Zer, who is hunched over and sells us weapons on the weekends. Are these two characters related? Seer Ido died mysteriously and Zer started showing up in our tower. Today we're going to discuss some background lore and speculate on the possibility that Seer Ido became the Agent of the Nine. Zer. Zer or Seer Ido was super important in Awoken history. I'm not going to discuss her whole story as it's way too long, but here's what you need to know. Seer Ido was Marasov's lover and first Queen's Wrath. She ventured with the Awoken from the Distributary all the way to Seoul and fought many battles against alien factions like the Fallen. Ido was also present when Mara constructed the Dreaming City and dealt with many Ahamkara forces. One day, Seer Ido was killed, and this is where the mystery begins. The Queen paces as Orin leans on her warhammer. I need to know who killed her, Mara says. To know or to see them killed? Mara's grief and anger blazed across her face. She looks out at the reef as she struggles to master herself. Orin imagines Namki dead and clenches her warhammer a little tighter. At last, Mara says, first to know. She gives Orin the strange coin that the search party found on Seer's body. I'm not sure it was a murder. The search sends Orin into a deep sublunar cavern where she finds no enemies, but instead clouds of steam and a half-man with grasping tentacles where his face should be. Forgive them, he rasps as she crushes his windpipe with her fist. Who, she snarls, tightening her grip. His face writhes with growing urgency. Reminding herself that she came here for answers first and vengeance second, she pushes him away. He staggers, steadies, reaches into his robe to draw something out. Orin, Gol warns, but she's already seen it. She hefts her warhammer and strikes him hard in the chest. It is like hitting a ball off of a tee, there is no resistance. He caroms off a dewy boulder with a sickening crunch. That is his spine. He will never stand straight again, and as he hits the ground, a tarnished silver jar slips from his fingers. The sound echoes as it bounces away into the dark. Orin uses a hunting knife and brute strength to puncture the jar's dented lid. She turns it over and pours a thin stream of pale gray powder into her gloved palm. Dust returns. It ever returns. The man chuckles wheezily. She looks up, and he is gone. So Mara sends a guardian named Orin, who eventually turns out to be the emissary down the line, to find out what happened to Seer Ido. When Orin visits this cave, she finds Zer, who supposedly says, forgive them. So who is he talking about, forgive the Nine? If that is the case, it seems the Nine killed Seer Ido, but maybe not on purpose, or perhaps it was for a certain reason. It is interesting that Orin finds Zer here as well. Seer Ido is suddenly gone and now Zer pops up in this cave. Perhaps Zer had something to do with her death specifically. Here's where things get interesting. When Seer Ido died, she was transporting to Ahamkara. These are the ones whose skulls can be seen in the Dreaming City. Now, when she died, Atekian returns to Mara and says that a strange coin was all she found on her body, leading us to believe that the Nine had something to do with this. Mara asks about the Ahamkara she was transporting, and she says this. We're guilt, she thought. Powerful grief filled her chest, as thick and caustic and heavy as unset concrete. And her bow? Gone. Huggin? Munin? The Ahamkara are dead, and their bones are silent. So whatever killed Seer Ido took her bow, and the Ahamkara are dead as well. Their bones are silent. This is kind of weird considering when Ahamkara die, their bones are usually still quite alive. So did something make a wish through these Ahamkara, or were they simply straight up dead? 
Here's what we know about the creation of Zer. In the lore, it is said that Zer first popped up after the great Ahamkara hunt. Why do you think the Nine needed Ahamkara? Ikora asks dangerously. To make wishes, Lavinia pants. Zer didn't appear in the tower until the end of the great Ahamkara hunt. Whatever they used to get from the Ahamkara, she leaves it unsaid. Maybe the Nine are now getting it from Guardians. So with that, it's kind of implied that Zer may have came from an Ahamkara wish. But from who or what is the question? We know that the Nine used the Ahamkara to their advantage a lot before all the Ahamkara were supposedly killed. After the Ahamkara were gone, it seems they turned to Zer, who may have been created from those wishes, and also Orin, the emissary, to study the Guardians and the Light. To seek the secret of effect without cause, and to protect the source of that secret, the last source, now that the Ahamkara are gone. In some dialogue lines from Zer, he says that he had a choice to become this form, and that he was the first prototype for the Nine to interact with Guardians, hence them trying to study the light. So could Sir Ido have became Zer? Possibly, Bungie could always twist things around, you never know with a sci-fi game like Destiny, but there does seem to be a couple of issues with the timeline. Sir Ido died during the Reef Wars, and Zer is said to have appeared after the Great Ahamkara Hunt, which took place many years prior. So this means that Zer was possibly already around when Sir Ido died. Now, we, correct me if I'm wrong, don't really know how far these events are from each other, that is the Hunt and the Reef Wars. Also, how long Sir Ido was gone before her body was found with that strange coin? It most likely wouldn't be that long, but keep those events in mind and their timelines. Regardless of all of this, we know this, that Zir Ida was once an integral part of the Dreaming City and Awoken Society. There is a tomb slash memorial for her on the Tangled Shore, and a statue built in Mara's throne world for her. That's where you start and obtain the Wish Ender quest. We can also see that part of Seer seems to be anchored to that statue in the throne world. We hear dialogue and voice lines from her, so could Mara's throne world assist her somehow and bring her back to life? It sure feels like Bungie wants to bring her back if the time is right down the line, right? My name is Shior Ido. I was the first to stand beside Mara Sov. You will be the last. But... Only if you prove yourself worthy. So let me know your theories down below. Could Seer Ido have became Zer, or was the agent of the Nine Zer sent out to oversee this death of Seer Ido from his leaders of the Nine? There is no question the Nine had something to do with it, most likely given that strange coin, but the motive remains unclear. Was this just to show Marasov that they're boss, or was it something deeper? Anyway, Guardians, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see some more just like it, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I thank you very much for watching. My name's Evade, and I'll catch you, Guardians, in the next one.